Hello everyone, it's Robin here and welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to see you today. We are really at the end of 2023. This is New Year's Eve weekend. So we're on New Year's Eve Eve as you're seeing this. And I'm really excited that my last video for 2023 will be a setup of my Oh Hello Robin planner. So I have my One Happy Year Seasonal Whimsy planner here that I'll be using for all Oh Hello Robin. And I have this other cute daily planner here that I'll be using with it. And I can't wait to put these all together. So you know what, let's just, let's just don't wait. Let's flip the camera down, grab a few discs and things and get this planner set up. So I have all my supplies and uh, it seems like a lot, but we are really attempting to make a simple planner out of all of this fun stuff. So I'll be using the One Happy Year Seasonal Whimsy Planner for my Oh Hello Robin Planner, as well as this Modern Farmhouse uh, Daily Sheets we'll be pulling in, which is really super fun. I have some name stickers here, and I have some other fun goodies over here that we'll get to as we get into it. I also have some discs up above here. So um, I'm not sure what I wanna do, because usually the first thing you think about is, what discs do I want on? Right now, this planner has some really light sage green discs, but I found these are the ocean discs. They came in, a happy box. I love the be happy boxes. You get some really cool things and I kind of like that disc with it. So um, that's cool. But I also really love, love, love these champagne discs. They have Mickey Mouse on them and they bring me great joy, which is my word for the year. And I think I might just go this route because this will match all of the different dividers going on in this planner. Yeah, let's do that because this seems dark even though it's beautiful and it looks really cool with January. Look at that. Oh yes, that looks really cool. Okay, I think we're going to make an executive decision though and go with the champagne discs and the Mickey Mouses because they are super fun. So let's just get started and let's start from the beginning. Let me pull this off. And we're just gonna go from the beginning to the end. Sometimes that's the easiest way to do it. And I'll put this aside. Since I'm putting new discs on, let's take the cover off. This will actually make it easier. Set that aside and put these two together and just start with these discs. I have nine, these are metal discs, there are Champagne in color with Mickey Mouse's. They came in a, a Mickey Mouse Be Happy box that I purchased when it came out. And then um, earlier this past year, I think, it, it came on sale again and I purchased it again solely to get more of these discs. I have them way over here. So let's get them on. The easiest way to put the discs on for me when you're using regular Happy Planner covers is to put them both together and just slide them in and see we're already done. One happy year. I love that sentiment for my Oh Hello Robin planner. So here we have the inside. This is super fun, super fun. Okay, again, we're gonna start from the beginning. So we already have a name page. This was an 18 month planner and I already have my name in it. This comes from my Etsy shop. I do custom names. If you're interested, I will put a link down below so you can check it out. Always use the code Oh Hello 15. You get 15% off. That includes these custom name stickers. I have them on regular matte sticker paper and I also have it on this uh, transparent paper, which is what I already have in here. I went ahead, I had made myself, um, oh, these are month stickers too, which I may use. Let me put those aside. Those are on my shop too. I made some Oh Hello Robin stickers too, but I already have my name in this planner. I mean, I know it's the Oh Hello Robin planner, right? And if I try to take this off, it's going to rip it. But I'm wondering if I could put this Oh Hello right in front of it <laughs> or above it. That would be fun. Let's, let's cut this off and do it. See, I'm already, I'm already causing trouble. So let's do this smaller one here. And I'm just pulling it up to where it says the oh hello and I'm gonna trim it off just right there. Nice, there, now I have my name again. And I could put it here, even though it's off center, or I could put it here. I like it here. 
and uh, we're just going to be good with it. Yes, kind of need a flower here now or even a butterfly. This is from the Seasonal Whimsy book. So we could just put this big butterfly there. It's on a blush background, which is the same color as this name page. Let's just go big. Go big. Go big or go home. Is that what we say? <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's super cute. Name page, done. Let's put her in the book. So I'm going to start making a few changes as we go here to the way the planner is set up. And at the beginning of the changes, we're going to start here really soon because um, this was an 18 month planner. So I don't necessarily need this July part, but I do need this 2024. So I'm going to put this in here. Well, I'm going to keep that there for a second. I think I'm going to take this whole section out because the way I had used my planner, this last page got pulled into last year's and it's taped to something. So I don't have that, but I have my currently page here, which I need. So I'm going to keep this here, put it to the back and I've pulled out another set from another planner that I was using for keeping track of bills. That's what I do with my extra planners. I use the monthly, uh, the monthly page to keep track of my bills. So, this one starts for January, and I want to tape these two together. Okay, that will work. Let's grab the tape. We're going to start doing this taping thing. Okay, I have my tape here, and these are the two pages I want to put together. So I'm just going to kind of go close to the edge with this, as close as I can get. My least favorite thing to do in planners is taping pages together. I do everything I can to try to avoid it, but uh, sometimes it has to happen and you'll see that it's going to be coming up here soon. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Let me fix this before it sticks. There. And uh, we'll be taping some more pages together in this one, but this is fine. I know some people do the drop thing. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's try this drop thing. Doesn't always work for me, but we shall see. Okay. So I'm going to put this page in here on this side and lift it over. See, I like my edges to go together. So let me Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to put my edges together on this side and then just let it drop. Okay, I will say this, I believe the drop thing probably works better when you have more planner pages in, but we got through it. So we have our 2024 and here we begin our perpetual calendar, which I like to have in my planner. And we have January 1st on Monday, that's perfect, all the way through here, all the way through here. Yes. Okay. So now we have an extra one of these. Let's move on. For my Oh Hello Robin planner, I want the currently page and I need the monthly calendar, but I don't need the rest of these pages, but this is how we're going to put this in. I'm going to put the monthly calendar in first. And instead of putting my currently here, because I'm using this for scheduling and I want it to go this way, I'm going to put this in behind it and we're going to tape this in as well. So let's get the tape. I'm going to try taping it different this time. Let's get the tape and tape this in. Okay. This time, I'm going to do it in a way I also like to do it. So you can try both ways, whichever works for you. Sometimes I kind of sit them together on a surface and bring them together. Okay, just like so. I only somewhat mangled my currently page, but you know, we have 
a bunch to do so we will get some practice in so this is what i want to do for my monthly is go from here and then have this page because i can write month goals and whatnot on this page and then i want to add in pages from here we're going to add in i think three sheets work so these are daily pages and these will be for each week so it this will be january one through seven i need to put more in here to get this done one through seven and then you know eight through 15 and so on and so on and this will be a weekly running to do list and then we're done here so now i need february okay we're getting into a system so i need the currently page and then i need the february calendar put this in here and I want this February to land here. So I'm gonna try this tape thing here because we have a little more stability. This might definitely work better. So taping pages makes, uh, makes the pages thicker, which is okay for this particular page because it's the other side of the calendar which already is thick on the first side here. I'll show you what I mean here as soon as I do this. Okay, everybody, are we ready? Let's concentrate. <laughs> Let's get this straight so we don't make me crazy. And then just let it fall. I'm probably making this way more difficult than it needs to be. Okay, so the front page of the monthly calendar is cardstock and the second page is regular paper but when you put it together it has a very similar feel to it so here we have february going on right here and that's perfect let's put in some sheets here i think three sheets are good for each month because some months tend to have five monday starts and um, if I need to pull a sheet out, I can. So we have one week, second week, third week, fourth week, and then fifth week. And then we just have a little extra. It's all good. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, yeah, we got all of that in and she's still, uh, she's, she's good size. She's a good size. If she gets too chunky, I may move her into six months, but um, I think this worked out. I'm, I taped up through March because this is something I'm just testing out, so I don't want to tape the whole year just yet. But as soon as I realize or decide that this is going to work for me, I will go ahead and tape the rest of the year so for january i have a calendar here a monthly where i schedule all of my youtube videos and um, etsy releases and all of that good stuff and then it goes into this currently page but i have it now inside of january which i can use for setting goals for the month and whatnot and then these pages i'll be using for my weeklies and uh, this will really help in a work situation for me i love it i need one more thing going on in this planner which we're going to put back here because that's the scheduling part and that's the to-do part but we need the part that says what is it we're going to put in there so we need the plans happening i'm pulling in a divider this is a clear divider i got from amazon and i'm going to label it i think i'm just going to label it all the things because that makes me happy <laughs> I don't know what else to call it so um, I just wrote all the things in here I'm gonna hit print 
and it comes right out the side. I really like this uh, Dymo label maker, it's fun. And then just cut it off and there we have it. All the things. And we can put this right at the top here. And this is where I'm going to put in all of the the planning part. See, I think sometimes the word planner, and now I get it, it is a planner, but it's a little misleading because it's really the scheduling part of a planner, right? And for things like my Oh Hello Robin, I need, I can't see what I'm doing here. I need uh, the planning part, which I use a lot of notebooks for, but I want it all contained together. So I'm gonna put this up a little higher. I'm just gonna trim it off. I need it all together. So let me, let me trim this from here. So this back section is gonna kind of be the note section part. I am totally cutting into this. Okay, and so I'm gonna put this here. I like these dividers because they're full on and you can write on them really easily. Um, let's put a little pretty in. This is says choose happy today. I, it's a divider I made from my old, um, what was that planner? I love that planner. It came out like a couple of years ago. Why can't I think of the name of it? <laughs> well, it was my favorite planner. So, so soon we forget. I want to keep this planner fun and colorful. So I think I'm going to use these because this looks like a sun. And I'm going to put 12 sheets in. Hopefully I have 12 sheets here. One for each month. It says, be happy, be bright, be you. Yeah, there's 12 sheets. So one, two, three. Perfect, we have 12 sheets. And I'm going to pull in these monthly stickers I have because I wanna put the month on each one of these. So I have two sizes. I have a larger and a smaller. I think I'm gonna put it up here in the right hand corner and I'm gonna use the larger month. Well, let's see, let's see where it looks the best. I could put it directly under here. Let's do that. And I'll, I'm going to do one for each month. Okay, so here we have all of these. So I have 12 sheets for brainstorming ideas for each month, which is like all the things for both my YouTube channel and my Etsy shop. This should be really helpful. I wonder if I could do all 12 at once. Oh yeah. And if I need extra paper, because I did one for each month, I can easily drop in another piece of paper, but this is getting full. I don't think I'm gonna do that just yet. I had some here, but I don't think I will. Okay, um, yeah, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. Let's take a look. So for Oh Hello Robin, I need a planner that, I, that will help me schedule all the things that have to do with Oh Hello Robin, which is the YouTube channel, and it includes Etsy and all of that good stuff. So I think we got this here. I also wanted it to simplify it and I want it fun. And I think it really is. So we have our name page here, which is really cute. We have our calendar here, which goes into the perpetual calendar, which goes into January. Here's the scheduling. We have the goals page, and then we have daily sheets that I'll be using as weekly sheets. And it goes into February doing the same thing. So I think this will work out just fine. And I'm really excited about this. I'm kind of going through this really fast, but I did a flip through of this planner in my lineup video. Uh, loving the October and then into December. And then when we're done with December, let's just float through this again. So it'll be this page and then into the currently and then into, I put three of these for each one because it's week one, week two, week three, week four. And if there's a week five, I have this in there just in case I need it. And then it goes into all the things and this is where I'll actually plot out 
what I'm what I want to do each month and I have one page for each day just simple I think it's perfectly perfectly simple so I am really happy with how this planner turned out and I have my first planner setup done for 2024 yes in the books <laughs> My next setup will be my catch-all planner, my everyday planner, and that will happen after the new year. This is the last uh, video of 2023, and I think it's very appropriate that I'm doing my Oh Hello Robin planner because I have had one happy year in 2023 hanging out with you all, and I hope you enjoyed it too. I'm looking forward to another happy year in 2024, but let me go back to 2023 one more time. Thank you all so much for joining me. I have had an amazing year and I loved, loved, loved hanging out with you all. Let me know uh, in the comments below, uh, what was your favorite part of 2023 that happened in your life? I would love to hear about that. I hope you all have a wonderful and safe New Year's Eve and I will see you again right after that with my Everyday Catch-All Planner. Thank you all again. This has been a wonderful year and I love you all so much. Bye. Happy New Year!